Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to our eighth DCTV 23 weekly update on COVID-19, the coronavirus. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist, Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Per guidelines from the Health Department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. Rick, what is the updated numbers for cases in Douglas County? According to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of Thursday, May 28th, Douglas County has 522 confirmed cases, and sadly, 24 of our citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones and the Board of Commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals and their families impacted by that loss. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. Lena, Cobb and Douglas Public Health told me just yesterday they have tested over 2,000 people at our testing site at Hunter Park. Now, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. Everyone's encouraged to visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment if they want to get tested. The hours of operation for the Hunter Park testing site is Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on Saturday from 9 to 12. Please note, testing is by appointment only. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be allowed to get tested. Tonight, join Douglas County Community Services Board for a conversation regarding COVID-19 and mental health at 6.30 p.m. via the Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. Hear from experts and county officials as they make remarks on issues affecting our community. Also, Douglas County Animal Services received a pet food donation for individuals affected by COVID-19. From this donation, Douglas County Animal Services were able to provide assistance for families in need. Animal Service continues their efforts to keeping pets and their families together during this pandemic. We would like to thank Director Frances McMillan and her staff at Animal Services for their commitment and dedication to pets in Douglas County. The Douglas County Elections and Voter Registration Department announced recently the voting dates and times for early voting. We encourage you to visit CelebrateDouglasCounty.com for early voting information. Keep in mind, early voting will continue until June 5th from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Woody Fight Senior Center ends early voting after tomorrow, May 29th. Other locations include the Douglas County Courthouse, Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, Derelict Park, the Old Courthouse, and Dog River Library. For information, for more information, contact the Elections and Voter Registration Department at 770-920-7213. I repeat, 770-920-7213. Again, Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to encourage Douglas County citizens to wear a face covering while being in public, wash hands, and practice social distancing. Protect yourself, protect those around you. Let's fight this virus together. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next time.